is more of a fan. It's Halloween, so I thought we should go look for something really scary, okay? So, just creeping around this house right now. Don't know what to expect. It could be anything around here. Oh my gosh. This boy, this room. It doesn't look great. Oh my gosh. Man, that scared me. Hey everybody, this is Marlon Pan, nineteen ninety five, and welcome to a special Halloween edition of Transformers Five Discussions. I think I might have went a little overboard on the mustache. I didn't have time to grow any facial hair for this look. Uh, and also, I found a way to wear this jacket in two straight episodes. How about that? Uh, so let's go ahead and move right on into the Transformers 5 news. Remember that concept car that we talked about last time um, that was spotted on set? Well, it has been officially announced to appear in Transformers 5. And um, you see Michael Bay actually took a picture with it here, and he jokingly said that he is going to uh, take it home with them uh, when they're done filming. So I wouldn't put it past Michael Bay, because he loves his cars. Um, also, we have some more car news, some official images of Cogman, and that's the... Uh, it's not the actual name of the car, at least uh, to this point, it could is probably just a production name, and we just don't know the real identity of it yet, but uh, we have some official images, thanks to Car Throttle that did a special segment on it, so they were testing the car out and stuff, and they have these awesome images here of it driving through the countryside, so really cool shots there, and uh, really interested to see what kind of Transformers is going to be, most likely it will be an Autobot, um, from what we've seen so far, it has been rolling with the Autobots uh, during filming. And then, some more car news, uh, they had a rap party in London when they were done filming there, and Bumblebee, Crosshairs, and Barricade were in attendance at this nightclub, and that's really all that we see from the video that Paramount Pictures provided. We just saw people at the club were taking photos with the vehicles. We didn't see anyone actually from Transformers the last night uh, there, so not quite sure what kind of event that was, but uh, it is cool to see those cars uh, at uh, you know glistening at nighttime nonetheless. Uh, those some great looking cars, especially Barricade. I'm just loving that Barricade car. We have some our first toy news regarding the new movie, and it is a, a leak of the Optimus Prime Voyager figure thanks to Snackus Blog. Uh, that's probably how you say it, I don't know, but they gave us um, a first look at this figure, and I gotta say, this is looking a lot better than the leader class figure that uh, the Transformers Age of Extinction line got, and we also have this other sheet here that shows both the robot mode as well as the vehicle mode. Now, since this is early on, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be getting more paint, you know, Optimus's flames and stuff. That's most likely going to be happening, but this is the first look at a Voyager class figure for the new movie's toy line. And then our last piece of news is Steve Jablonski uh, did this little tease on his uh, uh, Twitter and Facebook. He said um, that, well actually he didn't say, but he just posted a picture and it is a score sheet for Prime. Now, Prime was used back in Revenge of the Fallen, and a similar piece was used in the first Transformers movie. So, gotta wonder if he's bringing back some older themes to uh, go in Transformers The Last Night. Really, the only previous theme that we saw in Transformers 4 was a little small piece of Arrival to Earth, otherwise everything was brand new to go along with practically the whole brand new movie, brand new cast, brand, brand new robots, everything. Um, so the feel of the movie was really different. Now, moving forward, we have some returning characters human-wise, so uh, it would make sense for Jablonski to go back to some of the older themes seen in the previous trilogy. And I think that would be really great because I do love the Transformers Age of Extinction score, but the first three films just had this special magic, just about everything with the movie, actually. The cast, the robots, the music. It just had that something special. And I really hope 
uh, that he does end up using some of the cues from the original three films uh, to go into the filth fifth film. I think that'd be great and continue the trend of having Arrival to Earth in every movie because that is just such an amazing song. Um, this mustache is really annoying me now, so I'm probably going to be taking it off right after this video is over. And that just about does it for this video. I um, hope you enjoyed my uh, my costume here um, that I put together quite quickly, actually. Um, so uh, leave a like if um, and a comment if you uh, liked my costume. And uh, make sure to give me your thoughts on maybe uh, something about the vehicles or Steve Jablonski doing the score for Transformers last night. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe to my gaming channel, Marlon Fan Gaming. Link will be in the description. I haven't been uploading in a while, uh, but I will get, get, get yeah, I will get back on that soon. Um, also, uh, make sure to uh, check out my social media. We have Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, so make sure to check that out. And uh, yeah, I have, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, but uh, yeah, these are Halloween lights because I didn't have barbed wire, so <laughs> yeah, it'll work. Um, so yeah, make sure to leave a like if um, you liked the video and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more. And until next time, I am Marmot Pits 95. See you guys. Joey Sal is doing a social experiment.